So this is my design for a simple yet effective potion brewing station. So in the spirit of Harry Potter, I keep all of my potion brewing supplies in this closet under my stairs. Now if we take our fortune hoe, we can just harvest the nether warts that are over here and replant the extras. Now let's say we want to make a speed 2 potion, so let's grab the supplies that we are going to need. So this waterlogged stair is one of my favorite designs for a compact yet effective in-house sink. So you can fill up as many water bottles as you like from here without the water level depleting, whereas the water would run out after only three water bottles if you're using a cauldron. Now we can put our supplies into this uh, brewing stand here. Alright, now let's add the sugar. And finally the glowstone. Alright, so our potions are done brewing. Now, we could take all of the potions out manually, but I like having to exert as little effort as possible. So this brewing stand is positioned over a hopper, and now if this hopper wasn't powered, the water bottles would fall out of the brewing stand as soon as you put them in, but because this lever is over this block here and it's turned on, this hopper is powered, which means that items cannot go in. So now if we unpower that, the potions will go into the hopper and directly into this barrel here. But yeah, this design is two by three or four if you build this extra section here. So let me show you how to build it. All right, so these are the materials that you are going to need. Now, quick note, you can use any kind of stair and any kind of trapdoor. I just really like those two and I think they look very well together. All right, first off, let's put the two soul sand in this corner here and then the nether wart on top. Now let's put some stairs facing this way and then let's replace this block here with a um, barrel just like that. And then let's put the hopper going into that barrel and the brewing stand on top. Now we can put the water in there and a tripwire hook here representing a faucet. Now we can put the beehive here and I just like using beehives because I think they look like drawers so it really fits in this kitchen but any solid block will do like a furnace or anything else if you don't have beehives yet. And let's put the lever on top and turn that on. And I think the lever looks kind of like, you know, a knife block, so it kind of fits in the kitchen. Alright, now finally, let's put trapdoors there and there. Alright, now that's it for this build. Alright, if you thought this video was useful and that it deserves a rating, that would be much appreciated. If you would like to see more Minecraft tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you! Bye!